Hi, it's Double Nine Seventy Five, and I have finally really battle tested my cutter. Um, I've actually killed a few players now in my cutter, but this was a good field test of my pirate ship in action. You're never quite sure how the build's going to work, um, especially when you give up so many utility mounts and uh, so many internal slots. I mean, I've got way less shield cell banks than a combat cutter would have, and I've got less shield boosters than a combat cutter would have. I've got less armor than a combat cutter would have. So it's a balancing act because I want all the piracy tools and I want my size 5 frameshift drive booster but I don't want to be completely useless in a fight and I think I've got it nearly right um, you'll see this was a good field test so basically we robbing this type 9 um, he wouldn't comply so I'm using hatchbreaker limbits to crack him open I'm just aggroing the police because um, Bourne's in a hull tank um, crate with biweave shields so he doesn't really want the police shooting his biweaves it's much better that I soak that with my um, cutter shields because my cutter like I say even though it's got a manifest scanner and a wake scanner it's got decent shields um, I'm working on the um, what are they called thingy shields uh, my brain has just gone completely to mush no biweaves are the weak ones prismatic shields. I am working on my prismatic shields as we speak. I've just switched power play um, to now work on my prismatic shields. So soon my cutter's shields will be even stronger. Uh, but this was a really good field test of the shield strength and generally of the build of my cutter. Uh, so as you can see I've used the hatchbreak Olympic to crack open that type 9. Uh, we did know he was in a wing. Um, and lo and behold, while I'm, you know, thinking about launching uh, collector limpets to uh, scoop up that cargo, I start getting attacked by another player. Uh, a Anaconda and a Type 9 both jumped in to try and save their friends. And I've got to say, fair play to both of them. Um, I'm very impressed, especially with the guy in a Type 9 jumping in to try and save his friend. Uh, the Conda proceeds to light me up. Uh, it does a pretty good job of... Um, damaging my shields considering I've got the three or four NPC policemen and this guy lighting me up though I've got to say the field test has worked my shields held their own they worked acceptably um, I wouldn't say they're amazing um, I could definitely do better but as far as um, the sort of the mix between shield strength overall shield strength and immunities I think my shields have proved themselves as the firepower and weaponry, uh, considering this was leftover weaponry from my FDL and crate that I've just plonked on this, um, the weaponry is fine. I'm thinking of doing a different loadout for it uh, for when I actually do piracy, but this loadout works really well for um, undermining. So I'm probably going to keep these weapons and have another set which will be um, two large, one huge beam laser, and then all missile launchers on the mediums um, because I've just unlocked some missile launchers that are quite fun uh, but we'll have to see I don't know that's um, that's a plan uh, but as far as the current weapons on it they've proven themselves now in combat um, the DPS is pretty good on the um, well I always knew the DPS was pretty good on the multi cannons and the plasmax are though I don't use them as often as I should um, you know, I only use them occasionally in these fights. Uh, they are very, very useful, and they do do a big amount of splash damage. Um, I use them quite sparingly because I'm tanking my shields, um, so I'm not, you know, not charging that uh, to constantly be firing them. But they do, when they hit, do a decent amount of damage, and they've got good scientific effects on them. Uh, this guy's build, well, it wasn't a combat anaconda, clearly. Um, I think he was trading as part of a wing and he okay, was hoping to drive us off quite easily. I don't think he really knew what he tangled with and um, he really pays the price. But I've got to say, an honourable good commander who, you know, um, faces his rebuy screen with dignity and honour. Uh, if only more commanders in open could do that. So I salute this commander. Not only did he jump in to try and save his friend in a not optimised combat, but you know, it's not a combat ship, but clearly his shields aren't that strong. It's either not a combat ship or it's a bad combat build, I don't know which. Actually, I should say that. Um, but 
he you know, bravely jumps in to save his mate, fails, but doesn't combat log, honorably takes the read by screen, and his mate in the Type 9, and in fact both Type 9s involved in this, both did escape. So in a way he did succeed, um, even though he died, he did succeed in saving his friends. Um, both Type 9s did escape from our clutches and we didn't actually get to pirate any of the cargo. They did lose a bit of cargo to space, but they didn't lose any cargo to us because by the time we got to go around and collect it again, it had blown up in the vacuum of space. Um, it's a bit of a shame we didn't get anything other than the, uh, the glory of the kill for this one. But, I can't say, my cut has proved itself as a viable pirate ship and it's proved the shields can tank a decent amount of damage. Um, even from players. So anyway, yes. that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.